Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Economy with Mimi Heard 37. Uh, so I was looking around for some places to fly and we're actually going to go back to KSNA, uh, John Wayne, Orange County in Santa Ana, California. I, have, I flew uh, our Cherokee there a while back and uh, we're going to jump back in our Cherokee and we're going to head a little to the north here uh, over to L01. What's It says L01 but as you can see the ICAO code is actually a 46CN. It's only about 49 nautical miles over here at Crystal and Leno, California. I put a little bit of fuel. I think we had like nine guys. I moved up to 12. So we have 24% here. Um, we What is it? Uh, 679 pounds. Uh, we got three people, as many as we can hold. Only pays about 2100 bucks, but I mean, it's only like 49 miles, so it's not very far. We look over here at Flight Sim Canary because uh, remember, we don't have a GPS. Uh, in our Cherokee. I can actually use it, but that would be cheating, really. <laughs> so we'll take off here at John Wayne. Uh, take off on either 20 right or left. I'm not sure where we exactly parked. So you can see here, 20 left is a short little runway, but we could probably take off there. So whichever one, uh, does it be a heading of 196 degrees? And then we'll fly up to the Pomona VOR. Uh, frequency is 110.4. On a heading of about 357 degrees. That's about uh, 24 miles uh, from that takeoff at uh, John Wayne. And here's the scary part because I'm not the best at not nav flying. Then we got to go about 20, another 24 miles. That's really like right about uh, midway. Another 24 miles on a heading of about 343 3 degrees to our airport. I can't really tell which way the wind is blowing. I mean, if you look here, it's like coming from the south and it's coming from the west. Uh, this one from the north and the east, and so I figured we'd probably just uh, head in on runway, I think I picked runway 7, heading of 072 degrees, and let's see, the airport elevation about 3,419 feet. So hopefully we'll be able to find it. I'm just afraid about, you know, the wind and everything blowing me off course. I think the good thing is... There's not really any other airports around until we get after it. Then you can see there, there's one over here to the right and to the north. Uh, but that should be, if you look, if we don't get up blown off course too much, that will really be the first one uh, there. So hopefully, hopefully uh, we'll be able to find it. It's not, you can get lost in FSX, man. Ah, geez. I wonder if that, uh, well, that one... See, it doesn't really say, I, it's, it's, I guess it's asphalt. I was hoping maybe if the other ones were like grass or something, we'd be able to identify that it's the wrong one. But uh, that's the bigger one as well. So hopefully we uh, land at the correct airport. This could be a little adventurous, uh, but hopefully everything will go good. Uh, I think that's about it. With that, uh, we can go ahead and jump on the plane. All right, everybody, here we are in our plane. This is, the, we actually own this one. I don't know if that's, the, I think that's the same, I don't know if that's the same livery I was using uh, or not. Actually, I reinstalled this thing just a little bit ago. Because uh, since I flew it last, I did a complete reinstall. Because it's been a little while since I flew that thing. I've got everybody loaded in. Because remember, A to A, you better load it in first before you start up FS Economy. And let's go ahead and start the flight. It actually says we're too heavy, but we're not. So ignore that loading. And remember to do that. I screwed myself on a flight in the Grand Caravan in California. Forgetting to do that. Alright, so let's jump in here. Uh, so I hope I don't have a problem starting this thing since it hasn't been started since I reinstalled it. Parking brake coming on. Got my headphones plugged in there. So it's nice and quiet. All right, master switch coming on. Put in the throttle just a little bit. Just the fuel pump. Actually, before I turn that fuel pump on, I can't remember. Where, there's my fuel gauge. So it's on the left one. All right, so that's all right. Turn this on. Actually, that should have been cut off, but it was already up there. So, all right, so hopefully we didn't flood it. It does say actually to have the... I can't remember because the procedures on the a tape are a little bit different on the Cherokee than they're laid out in the other ones. And I don't have those printed out uh, for this airplane. 
So let's go ahead and turn this on. Actually, let me just check something first. Okay, so there's our beacon light. All right, and I, like this, this is weird because it says hit the starter on the first rotation. Hit, you actually turn the mags. So let's try that. It's hard to do that. In person, in real life, I'm sure it would be easier. It also helps if you give it a little fuel. Ah, oh, I thought we had it. Ah, uh, all right. I'm afraid I'm gonna wear down the battery. All right, let's try this again. I thought we had it there for a second. Pull that all the way out. Just set my throttle here. And let's try her again. Ah, uh, it's it sounded like it was gonna go. I'm also worried that we could have flooded it. So just in case we flooded it, I'll leave that off. It's in cut off. Let's try our All right, now let's turn that back on. A little bit of fuel. Mags, come on, girl. I don't want to have to hit Control E, but we might have to. I've had problems before trying to get it start up the very first time after install as well. All right, so I'm just gonna have to Control E it this time. Sorry, it sucks, but I had to get her, get her start up. So we went around 800 RPM. It's right there about 900, so that's all right. Let's go ahead and lean this out a little bit. Put it at about 60%. All right, the fuel pump is off. Let's go ahead and turn our nav light on. It's actually on. I think it's on the bottom. All right, so I'll just turn it up to the bright one up on top. So now we should be good right there. It was also seen, I believe, that you want to take off without um, flaps, which I thought was kind of odd. I think this is the Aviox Master Switch. No, that's the radio. What is this one? It's our autopilot. All right. And go ahead and turn on the pedo heat. Let's go ahead and turn on our electronics. Everything except the GPS, of course. Transponder and go on standby. All right, I'm going to go ahead and punch in. Let me see my, what views I have. All right, sweet. So our first waypoint is, well, our only waypoint really is 110.4. Go ahead and switch that over. I'll use it on this one as well. One ten four, one ten four. All right, that's good. Descend and maintain four thousand. United one zero seven four. And I don't think we have a tax light, do we? No, I don't think we United do. United one zero seven four. Contact Los Angeles Center on. Okay, so we won't use ATC here. Although I did go, I think I put it in as VFR, so I'll just give him a holler. Nah, screw it. We'll take our own run runway. All right, parking brake coming off. Let's go ahead and taxi on over. And let's see, there's 196. Gunway, Brown, United, Fort 7, Niner. There we go, 196. Taxi, IFR. United, Fort 7, Niner. Taxi to and hold short of runway 20, right. Seen taxi waiting Alpha, Lima. Contact tower on 126.8. There says 20 right right there. Let's see exactly where we are. All right, let's start right here. Because we're taking off that way. We'll have plenty of uh, room that way. Well, I don't know if I'd say plenty of room. If we go over here, we'll have plenty of room. They have the other guy taxiing, but I believe... Are the bigger planes out? I can't remember this airport, if they're on the other side or not. 
if general aviation is on our side or what? See, yeah, there they are. Hopefully we can get this flight in. Man, I'm really worried because I'm not that good at... If, you know, I can fly nav, uh, but I like the airports to be closer to a, a nav, a nav aid. I mean, give me something. So we're going to take off over here. It's just, I heard him obviously say that somebody's on the final. So we'll have to see what's going on over here. Parking brake coming on. Keep it right around a thousand, at least over 800 it said. So somebody's got to be coming up on final. So he said 20 right for them to take off, so that's got to be the active one, because 20 left is so short. Who knows? I don't really even see anyone over there line up, because they warned him about him. So I don't know if we should go ahead and take off out of here or what. I also look at... Remind myself, after we take off, it's a heading of about 357 degrees. Which we're already tuned into it. I think we might just go ahead and take off. Like I said, they, they talked about having uh, checking for your flaps up. By the way, we need to go ahead and do our run-up. So let's put her at 2,000 RPM. Actually, we need to be 4 rich. That was my bad. Alright, right there, let's check our mags. Left was alright. Right is okay. Trying to get over here. Check our gauges. Oh, see, they came in from the other side. Oil pressure is good. Temperature is good. Ammoner is okay. Suction is okay. I believe suction needs to be around five or so. So all that looks good. Let's go ahead and back her on down. Feels like I'm forgetting something. It wouldn't be surprising if I was. All right, so actually let's go down here. You turn on the fuel pump as well. Strobes, landing lights. Yoke is back. No one is taxing over here. They did say 20 left for him, right? Not 20 right. Because we, I mean, you saw I showed you the weather, so we just have to be correct. All right, let's go ahead and get on out of here. John Wayne Brown, United 1649er, request taxi to the gate. United 1649er, taxi to gate 11 via taxiway Lima Alpha. United 479er, continue taxi. Roger, United 479er. Oh, God. See, now we got somebody coming in. He's going around. Maybe we should have used the ground in the tower. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get up and out of here. It just had to be at that uh, perfect time, right? <laughs> I hate it. Sometimes it's, it can be a cluster. All right, I'm glad we don't have to wait for anybody. I say screw that. All right, three, five, seven. So we're gonna head out to the left. I thought I was gonna head out to the right, but as I was moving that, it's kind of leaning that way. I had to look around my mic. So she kind of went left on me, so we'll be all right. Delta 
By the way, um, scenery, I put everything in dents because I'm a little worried about Southern California. We're near uh, Los Angeles, obviously, by the way, Orange County. Uh, so it can be kind of hard to run, so I didn't want that. Yeah, we should have headed over to the right, but the plane was going left because, like I say, I was leaning around my mic. I couldn't really fly it with the joystick there for a second. Come on, girl. I'm really trimming it down hard all of a sudden, and it's, she still wants to bring that nose up. That was one of the not fun things I remember flying with this plane, is that crap. Not liking to trim very easily. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on the autopilot. I can't remember what this is. Oh yeah, GPS and nav, all right. There's someone way up there. All right, so. That's nav right there. Let's fly to it. So I can't remember which mode, if you want the first one or the second one. It's got low and high. I thought low is for like ILS and stuff, but I can't really honestly remember. I never remember which way to turn the dial. I gotta get used to this. I haven't flown like this in forever. There's the airport. That sucks that we had to, we were taking off right when someone was coming in the final. That sucks. I hate doing that. Because it seems ridiculous, and it is, but I don't, I don't like, I don't like ATC, what can I say? Although we probably shouldn't use it there. It is a busier airport. Oh well. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real life. It's kind of weird. You go into all the green and everything, and then as soon as you get up to the mountains, it's like, boom, desert. By the way, uh, FSX was recommending like 12,500 feet. So apparently we're, we are going to be going over some mountains. You can see there's mountains in the distance. I can see them right over here. That could be a bit of a problem. Also, should probably turn our transponder on. I always have to forget something, or else it wouldn't be me. Let's go ahead and lean her out a little bit. We're over 3,000 feet. I'm just going to let her kind of climb at her own pace, man. I get into a freaking battle with this thing sometimes. Trimming up and trimming down. It can be an adventure in this plane. Something I don't like. So perhaps the wind is kind of coming from the re from our left, which would be our west. So we'll kind of remember that because, like I said, after we hit Pomona, you know, there's nothing for us. No nav aids. So I'm guessing that it's got to be it right there, 19 miles. That'll that'll help because, like I say, it's 24 miles uh, after Pomona as well. So if we keep that up, get 24 miles past it, we'll know we're in the area. If it's not, you know, right 
right where we we think it's gonna be. What does that say? Three four nine. Yeah, three four nine. All right, uh, so we're coming up on 4,500 in just a second. I'll keep uh, leaning this out and keeping our EGT watching that. Once we get up, like I say, I don't know that what elevation we're, we're gonna have to. These mountains are getting high, as you can see, so we might have to go up to about. They said 12.5. Hopefully, we can get away with like 11.5. I don't want to take this thing real high, obviously. By the way, well, I was going to say I could turn off the fuel pump, but I'll get a little more, uh, maybe at 5,000 feet I'll, I'll turn the fuel pump off. I think that's mainly for safety, just in case the mechanical one fails on takeoff. We'll still have that one going, because the engine isn't getting starved of fuel. Making you lose power. Well, I hope it. I hope it doesn't. Uh, we don't have any icing problems. We shouldn't, though. It's Southern California. Should be okay. I'll shut it off at five thousand, like I say. Get our yoke back. Uh, still climbing pretty good, I gotta say. We're just over five hundred feet a minute, and the airspeed's still pretty good. And I don't feel like the wind is too much of a problem, to be quite honest. So I believe that's Los Angeles over there. I hate how it gets kind of blurry after... I've got my LOD radius, I think either 4.5 or 5. But even when you when you bring it up, it doesn't help a whole hell of a lot, I gotta say. Because I was making a video and I've kind of wondered, like, it didn't seem like it used to get so blurry so quick, uh, close to me. But now it does. But I mean, if you, and this is all, remember this, I've got the scenery, like I said, both in dents. You can see how much scenery complexity is still there at dents. And it's, it's very smooth right now. So the scenery looks good. The density and it's running smooth. I mean, you can't beat that. I guess I've got Southern California and then also uh, North America, Open LC North America running. So overall, pretty good. Let me see what this says right here. Six ninety nine. Well, I like I like to do Fahrenheit. Twelve ninety. We'll take a little time for it. There's 1292 already. Because we are already up, up to 6,000 feet. See, it's climbing up there almost to 1300. 1303. Kind of hard to see, I know. 1305. The transparency, I can't remember if you want to move it up or down. Yeah, we're not getting too off course now. I don't think the wind is too bad. Although, of course, the higher up you go, the stronger the winds get. You can see we probably are going to have to go to 11.5 to get over these Dagon Mountains. That's the other... I, I, maybe after this flight we can keep her on the other side of the mountains. So I'm trying to bring her east because, like I say, it, the scenery is... Uh, it gets hard to run. Although, I guess if you put it at dense, dense, it's not so bad. Let's see where EGT says has it cold some 1306. Thirteen oh eight, so it is climbing. Usually, that's one thing I like about doing it at 4x, although we're not 4x obviously. But at 4x it's a little easier. Because it goes so much quicker. But 75. 13, 13. 1314. Let's go ahead and switch tanks real quick. Fuel tanks. So the fuel pump comes on. Now we're on the right one. Fuel pump coming off. I think that's just safety as well while you do that. Just in case something goes wrong when you're switching tanks. Still got the electric pump 
get into view. Alright, we're 10 miles, 10.2 away from the VOR. So I wonder if the VOR will be on this side of the mountains or not. I'm, I'm guessing it is because it's Pomona. Which is pretty well known. Yeah, I think in Los Angeles is over in that area. And look, look at the, there's such a difference. Oh, that looks really good. The nice lush green and not so compact and then bam, that all smooshed in before the ocean. But I'm guessing that's probably, is that open LC? I'm not sure. It kind of looks, the textures look a little more open LC while that looks more Southern California. I'm not really sure the boundaries of uh, Southern California scenery. Almost to 7,500. We probably need to lean this thing out more. And there it's Horizon. And I'm kind of, I don't know if I should speed this thing up or not. I'm kind of against it because, uh, Although I might stop talking uh, once we get to Pomona. Because it's 24 miles, but I probably won't talk too much. <laughs> be concentrating. But I don't want to fly at 4x. Well, I could fly at 4x. I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm trying to keep it accurate. Hopefully, I mean, maybe even cross at 9.5. There'd be another 1,500 feet. I can't really tell. Kind of in that area, there's a little dip right there. That would be good for us. Check our EGT again. 1322. 20, yeah, you can see it jumping up there pretty quickly. Speed is extremely good. Uh, as you can see, we're just under 500 feet a minute, and that's one reason why. Although we're getting into the thinner air. But I don't want to, like I say, I don't want to mess with that. I get into a battle with this thing sometimes, and it's just ridiculous. So I'm just kind of let her go at her own pace here. So I'm pretty happy with that. 1334. There she is jumping. 39. 41. I'm guessing we'll have to probably get down around 35 or so. In my experience, that seems to be what it is in this plane when you get up the higher elevations. We usually don't go any much higher than 8,500. I don't think. I can't remember any. An air hull or two. Although we didn't fly this a whole lot because of the the pitching problems I had with it. I kind of figured it out a little bit at the end. I think uh, I was putting too, getting her too heavy in the back. That was causing a few problems. Everything looks good. Oil pressure, ammeter. I believe that's that fuel pressure, I believe. Yeah, fuel pressure. Oil temp. So a little bit more fuel on the right tank than the left. I'm kind of glad I got tw put moved it to 12 gallons, 25 percent. You know, I never know. We might have to search for it. Although if we have to search for it, we got a problem. We searched for that island one time, but it's the island isn't a problem. We I don't know which airport. <laughs> if we have to search for it, which airports it's going to be? The other ones in the area. All right, so temp is falling a little bit. There she goes, jumping back up. Put right there at 55. Down to 400 feet a minute. Coming up on 9,000 feet. We're getting close to being able to pass that. Might need to hit the 11.5. What a beautiful area to go flying in, though, in real life. 
I guess some of, uh, I don't know if the airspace is that cluttered, though, with LAX over there. And John Wayne, I guess there are some others. I have no idea what airport that is. I just want to turn you on, GPS. All right, we're two miles from the VOR at Pomona. And then it's about... What, what, he what heading are we on? Let's see, it was uh, 357. So off about 8 degrees and to the lower, right? To the west. And so it'll be 343, three, so that would make it about 335. Hopefully that leads us to the right airport. I am worried. Kind of worried about getting over that, but I think we're, we're getting close. Thirteen fifty one. Fifty three, fifty four, fifty five. So move that to fifty. Should probably be a little bit less, to be quite honest. Come on, we're down to three hundred feet a minute. Three hundred twenty nine. If I trim it just a, like two notches or something. I did it one. Let's see if it's moving up. Yes, yeah, see? Well. Eh. Not really. So I'll, not, I'll hit the trim one more time. I just don't want to get into the trim wars. 1367. There's 70. 71. All right, we're past it. Three, three, five. Heading mode. I don't know how I would do that, but I'm sure you there's a way to figure out your heading better doing that. Three four four. We want three four three, so that's actually extremely close. Alright, our rate of climb is slowing down, so we trim it up a little bit. I just wish I was a little smarter on how to do that. Because shouldn't I fly it where it is 343? Three? That would give me a truer heading, would it not? Where that would be 343 three back? I think I'm going the wrong way, though. Come on, thing, work with me. I don't know how to do how to work you. Okay. 
confused of which way to go. Watch our speed and watch this mountain. That's a 40. See, I don't know if I'm if I'm moving in the right direction or not. Surely it's got to be to the left. To get that to show up at 343. Oh, if I only knew more about navigation flying. You see, we're already going to screw ourselves up. That made it look like it went more over. So if it's... Three three five three three five. That's kind of what I had it at. I'm so confused. I'm not a real pilot. <laughs> I'm so confused. By the way, we're almost we're over eleven thousand feet, and we're just now gonna be able to get over those. You're a trooper here, Piper. Cherokee. It's at thirteen ninety. By the way, let's see if we move it down a little bit more. Now she's climbing. Because I don't know how to match it up to a 3-4-3. Three, three. I mean, that would be how you would do it, right? So I'm guessing it would be more to the left. Ah, I'm so confused. I don't want to have to turn on the GPS. I also don't want to get us lost. It's only about 13 miles away. Put that at 35. Here at 15, we'll level out. Come on, 11.5. I'm surprised at how well it climbed, especially with the air kept, kept the air speed up nice, although we didn't push her real hard. There we go. Level out. All right, so ele uh, 11 miles, and then we'll go on to put out a search party. Because I have a feeling we're not going to be anywhere near. I think we're going to be off to the left, out to the west of it. We're going to have to go north, northeast to find her. Airport elevation is 3,419 3, feet. So after we get over these mountains, we're going to have to descend down to 6,400 or so. I guess in real life it'd be easier to spot the airport because you can look out further than we can it can in this. There's airport list. Crystal 46 CN. I'm surprised that that's the closest. We're only for landing. We're going on seven. Full stop landing. And that's our position. Oh, we're 11 miles south. Alright, 
Okay, she needs help trimming down. How far are we off here, thing? See, that's the thing is, I don't know... We fly out more to the right, what does it do to the needle? See, it doesn't really help now, though, because we've flown off it so much. But if I wanted it at 343, yeah, see, I don't know that it matters anymore. Because we've already flown this for so long. And we're seven miles out. Lordy, lordy, lordy. If I only knew how to fly nav navigation better. Alright, I think we can go ahead and start descending. Cutting the power. Oh my goodness, we're six miles away. Should have done this on like a live stream. I've never live streamed, but then other people would actually be able to help me out along the way, hopefully. So I was hesitant about flying this, man. I really have no idea where I am. We could have flown IFR. That would have been a good choice, I think. Like I said, the closest airport, and then if anything else, uh, the air it would be to the west. Other airports would be to the right. I was kind of thinking it could have been in this little green spot over here. I'm thinking if anything were to the west of it, uh, to the west of the airport, though. Oh, goodness me, goodness me. The only other thing we can do is keep using the radio and if he starts changing out what direction we are from the airport. I mean, how are we going to tell? It's weird that the engine picked up power there for a second. A little bit more fuel on the left. I'm not going to switch it though. A lot of times they put out little, you know, green like that when there's an airport around. Although, if anything, like that's our runway. Obviously, we're at runway seven, so we'll be catty cornered. And it's a mile away. Because <laughs> of that. Yeah, we're gotta be, it's gotta be here. Man, you really have to descend after those mountains to get to it. Yeah, we're off to the west. We're two miles off at Peeps. So we're heading to the east. The thing is, it could be right over us, or under us. 
Obviously not over us. So our descent here. Give her some more fuel here. Put it at sixty-five percent. Now we just gotta be on the hunt for it. Thing is, if it's right under us, how the hell are we gonna see it? So put us three thousand. We can stop at sixty-five hundred. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Increase the power, bring that nose back up so we don't go fallen. Or uh, stalling, I should say. And we'd be about in the same direction as well, by the way. Bring the power down. Up or bring the nose down. All right, I feel like we should probably search around to our left now. Go back because if it was under us, we would have never been able to have seen it. have to yep we've gone way too far because we were two away is that gonna be it right over there I mean that's gotta be it well it doesn't have to be it right there What do you want, thing? Increase the power for you. That's it right there. We were actually came in extremely on it, did we not? Because that was just over to our west. So I think we were pretty much coming in straight at it, almost. Damn, like we were right all over it. I'm actually somewhat impressed. Not that it was great. I'm going to watch the replay of this video. And see if I can see that now that I know where it is. As we were descending. And I just maybe wasn't paying enough attention or something. I don't know. As long as that's actually us. It's got to be us. It's us. Okay, so let's fly it. I'm trying to... Down to 44. Down to 44. off fuel pump although on descent I, I can't remember if you use this on descent or not I know the fuel pump needs to be on a, a landing so I'll turn that off and let's fly at a heading 252 It's going to be a while because I'm trying to do this with my left hand. All right. Did I flip off the... Somehow we hit that, didn't we? Maybe instead of hitting the altitude hold button once, I screwed that up. I've lost it. Was that not the actual runway? Was I looking at some No. What has happened? Where did our airport go? I saw it glistening and everything. It was like... There it is. Oh my god. See, look how close we are and it was hard to see. Okay, like I said, 44... 
So I want to go down to see it, this thing's so touchy. Just kind of using the engine to help us descend or bring the nose up and down. 44 would put us a uh, thousand above. I guess we should be calling those out. Alright, what I feel like doing, actually, I'll bring that back up here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and start manually flying here. Bring that up so it's already there. And let's call our base leg. Alright, whoa, whoa. Not too, not too much like that. Alright. Go ahead, all right, that pump is on, full rich. We don't have too much to worry about. We're probably a little low at this point. Zero seven two. I hate having to take my eyes off and hands off. All right, we need to get our speed down. Squirrely there for a second. All right, we're down inside the arc. About 600 above. Put a little more power in here. Flaps coming out. Let's call it that we're on final. Four, six, Charlie, November, traffic, Hybert, hotel, Robert, Oscar, hotel, Charlie is on final, runway seven to land. Flaps to two. And full flaps. I think we're a little high here. Let's get down a little bit. I don't think there will be any doubt by FS Economy that we used the correct amount of fuel because we did have a, it wasn't a long search, but we did a little bit of a search. I think we used plenty of fuel for FS Economy to recognize that we didn't cheat. Feels like we're coming in really quick. A little to the left there. I'm hard on the brakes. And I'm off the brakes. Wow, look, that is impressive. Look at all those planes over there. That is really freaking cool. So we must still be in the region, huh? Or something. Made that's a really cool as hell. All right, let's stop here. Lean her out, don't foul the plugs, strobes, landing lights. Fuel pump can come off, retract the flaps, stop the recording, and now set the room or clear the runway. Yeah, that is really cool. I mean, there's just like planes sitting on the de almost like are they like glider or I was gonna say they kind of look like gliders. They're kind of over on their wings. Some farm equipment over there. So I guess we need to go over to the buildings, right? Although that guy's parked over there. I think those. I don't know. Yeah, those have got to be uh, gliders. I don't see. 
All right. So we'll go over to the buildings. Maybe we shouldn't announce that we were clear of the runway yet because we're going to be back on the runway. I don't know exactly how you do that. Tell them that we're tax. I don't think you can tell them that you're taxing on a runway. Tell them that you're taxing for takeoff or whatever. It was kind of fun. I we actually I want to look on the video again and see if I can see that because I know the green patch as well. Like we may have come in right at it or just off to the east of it. I think I don't know because I thought that patch of green was out to our left. But I think we had the right idea of trying to use the nav uh, to guide us. I just I don't know how to do that if correctly. I'm not a pilot. <laughs> And I've never actually tried to do that before, so it's kind of just off the top of my head and think about, you know, how you would do it. How do you do it? By the seat of my pants? Thinking about my seat of my pants? Something like that. Alright, let's see where we can park. May just pull up right over here. Here's a person. Easier to see, man. Trek IR would be awesome. I'll just pull her right over here. You know what? Let's go in the grass and then pull around. So for somebody, it would be easy, even though this is not real life, obviously, to just pull her on out. How cool is that? What a nice guy I am. Yeah, that's good right there. Park and brake. Oh, if it's the economy, he's going to grab it. Please tell me that it is an effect that's going to take it. I'll find out here in a second. Transponder off. Could have already turned that off. Pedo heat off. Uh, let's see. Turn off all the electronics. Alright, the nav can come off. Now let's go ahead and cut her. Beacon off. Mags, master switch. And let's go get paid. Alright, everybody, so 2100 for the job, 112 an hour. Uh, 50 minutes costs 94.24 all those are playing uh so i won't actually pay that fuel we use 35 dollars worth of fuel 210 for the uh, booking fee so our real costs were 245 bucks this this bonus doesn't actually count i don't right that who would that go to fs economy or the owner that two dollars and 83 cents who really cares <laughs> uh earnings this flight 1757.87 and really you could add that add that back I think so. Paid to YT Flyers three seventy one eighty seven. Paid to the pilot thirteen eighty six. As always, it goes to the group. I don't even know how to count that. Twelve twenty one thirty six. No, fifty six fifty seven. So seventy eight thousand. I'm going to say around about a little over seventy eight thousand. Yeah, so coming along, we're still making some good money. Gonna make more, more flights, uh, especially for me, because I haven't I haven't flown as much as I wanted to in FS. Oh, I've got so many videos backed up on FS Economy. It's crazy. Because uh, I I got into a groove with FS Economy like a month or so ago and just made a ton of videos. I was having so much fun flying FS Economy. It's kind of how it goes. You get into one thing for a while and then you gotta like, all right, I gotta do other stuff, you know. But uh, yeah. That was an interesting flight. We actually found the airport. I'm really happy. I, like I said, I'm going to go watch this again and see how close we actually came. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. But I hope you all did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight.